hello guys welcome to this tutorial so we are going to look at mechanical engineering science one and this is what you are going to cover during this course so the first topic that you are going to look at is statics so under statics you are going to look at forces and how they affect bodies in which are stationary so here we are going to have a look at coplana forces and non complana forces non complana forces so we will have a discussion also and look at the resultant of a force the resolution of a force we are going to also look at triangle of forces parallelogram of forces then the second topic will be moments we are going to do some definitions on what is moment and then we are going to look at the principle of moments principle of moments apart from that we are going to look at uh, uh, what is called uh, open, open and top so we are going to define these two frameworks then the so in frameworks we are going to study different frames so these frames are called trusses now trusses come in different types we have roof truss we have bridge trusses now these frame frames are being uh, affected by forces so we are going to analyze these forces within the frames using these two methods that is the method of joints and the method of section now back here when you look at ties and struts these are just members within a framework so we are also going to do some definitions here analyze this and then analyze these forces using these two methods then moving to the fourth section which is dynamics in dynamics we are talking about the effect of forces on moving bodies so we are going to do an introduction in linear motion we are going to define some terms like what is acceleration what is velocity what is distance what is displacement and all those terms that are related with dynamics we are also going to derive some equations we are going to derive these equations so remember these three equations so the first one was uh, v is equals to u plus a t then we have v squared is equals to u squared plus 2 a s then the third equation was s is equals to u t plus half a t squared so these are three equations of linear motion so whereby we have v which is the final velocity u initial velocity s is the displacement and a is the acceleration so those are the terms that you are going to define here and then last but not least we are going to look at motion time graphs in linear motion so we're going to plot learn how to plot these graphs and uh, look at how we can analyze those and then finally we're going to look at application of these equations in real life situations or engineering uh, problems in dynamics then you're so at, you're also going to look at angular motion so an, angular motion is different from linear motion in that you're going to study the motion of bodies in circular parts now we're also going to do just like in linear motion we're going to do some definitions we're going to look at what is uh, initial angular velocity final angular velocity and they are all denoted in different uh, symbols so we have uh, these three equations these are the key equations that we are going to look at when dealing with uh, angular motion so alpha represents acceleration then you have theta for displacement T remains for time and then 
we are also going to look at uh, the application of these equations in angular motion. So now the simple harmonic motion is a very important uh, topic or rather area in engineering and especially physics. So it also includes uh, looking at structural and machine vibrations, alternating electrical currents within the same uh, topic that is simple harmonic motion we are also going to look at uh, it also touches on sound waves light waves and tidal motion so at the end of this uh, by the end of this topic we should be able to understand what is simple harmonic motion and also we should be able to determine natural frequencies for simple pendulum or rather simple uh, spring mass systems. We are also going to calculate uh, periodic times. And then we are supposed also to understand what is uh, the motion of simple pendulum. Again, we are going to look at the difference between simple and compound pendulums. So the last topic of this course is projectile motion. So we are going to look at uh, what is projectile motion. We are also going to derive equations and then apply these equations in real-time problems uh, in engineering. So that will form uh, our course description and uh, I would like us to move directly to our first topic which is statics. Again, I would like to remind you that uh, I have supplied you with all these uh, course content and you can also check in your e-learning portal.